Good morning, Cancer. How are you? So I'm doing a multitude of messages for you around the eclipse energy that's occurring this weekend on the 14th. And you can include as well the eclipse uh, occurring on the 29th of this month as well. The idea here is to give you a series of messages. You obviously take some, leave some, as always. <laughs> we'll start with an angel. I'd like to see what your spirit guides are bringing your way or what they want you to pay attention to. What kind of main energy is beneficial to you. Let's get that card. It's friendship. Amitié is friendship. So you can rely on your friends, maybe more so than ever. Or there's a friendship that becomes more significant, either in a good way or in a less pleasant way. Let's get an overall energy regarding one significant relationship that you have. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a friendship or otherwise. But let's look at the main energy surrounding that. Seven of Wands. So you're very defensive towards somebody, or at least you're protecting your energy. Maybe you're feeling um, kind of lonely, having to fence yourself in. It feels like you're defending something as well, right? Defending your position, or at least... Ten of Pentacles, it could relate to a family member as well, or soul family. So again, within a sh friendship circle, uh, it could involve money, of course, possessions, resources, the way um, things are structured. Let's keep pulling because this is first impressions, of course. <laughs> so what is this about? The Euro font. Okay. This is relating to a particular structure that is very, very well established, that has been established for many years, that is very solid. It feels, I have the word indestructible. Or at least that appears to be, right? So something that you cannot even change. There's a little bit of an energy of something immuable. For some reason, I think you are, you feel defensive. You feel uh, maybe that's sort of a threat to you. The fact that it's so rigid and it has absolutely no um, flexibility in which you can maneuver. It feels like a, both a positive and a less positive energy. It's extremely positive that this is so steady. It creates a lot of stability even for you. It could be a Taurus here for you. So it could be a person, a family member specifically, but it could also be a Virgo Capricorn with the Ten of Pentacles. It's just your position is kind of odd here because you're at odds. <laughs> so it seems. But let's keep pulling again and see what really is happening. Okay, so there's a specific person within that structure I find, I feel, find. <laughs> uh, it's creating a lot of tension for you. So there's, for some reason, there's activity uh, picking up. 
There's movement. So something is being stirred. Something is being put in gear. There's been a strong decision on the part of somebody uh, that feels in authority here. That's That would be above you, whether it's in terms of I don't know if it's a family member, maybe it's a parent. If it's a, a work situation, right, uh, involving an institution, then obviously it's a superior of yours. Someone has a lot of ascendant on you. They're smart, aware, lucid. They actually know what they want in this context. But there's tension around this. So either it's resistance, there's definitely somebody, um, could be you, because you're the one that's resisting the most. You're the one that feels that you need to protect yourself. Maybe because something is finally shifting. I don't know if you enjoy that. You feel like... I'm hearing static, the word static. So as much as this person is clear, the communication isn't. Uh, there is something very chaotic as well as conflicting, so conflicting information as well. Uh, different sources, which one is true, which one isn't. Maybe there's a little bit of truth in every in every on every side. So you're wondering what to believe in this context. I'm going to pull a card specifically on why you're resisting or resistant. Eight of Swords in the reverse. It's an interesting energy. It feels like You're not embracing the change that is created by this movement forward, by the shift. I'm hearing that you felt comfortable in your cocoon, almost uh, enjoying the, the fact that you were immo immobile, right? But I don't blame you because if the shift brings conflict and chaos and harshness to your world, right? If it brings um, tension, then obviously you're not willing to move in the direction of this energy. Even if you weren't necessarily comfortable in this position, you prefer it uh, you might have preferred it in the past, right? To this energy of actually fighting with people. And so what is happening is you've been defensive already. Uh, I believe you were fencing yourself in, in defense, protecting yourself. But now that things are shifting, uh, it's still a, a mecha protection mechanism but it's lived out differently. You have to be active in it, so you're actively pushing people away because they're coming at you, symbolically speaking.
it could be specifically, I don't know if you're this king of swords or if that's the person that's coming at you with this energy. It feels like that, but you, it's your life. You'll, you'll resonate with whichever side. Something about wanting to evacuate, right? Needing to walk away from the situation, from the conflict. You're wanting to turn your back on this. So three times you're having different movements of protection. So first you closed your eyes, you were in denial, you fenced yourself in. You sort of retreated in, I guess, a mental bubble. Once you're exposed to chaos and tension, you have to fight it off. But in the end, maybe the best thing is to turn your back and walk away. So you're turning your back twice here. I feel you're turning your back to this particular family structure or work structure, career structure, establishment. You could be turning your back to this person. You could be turning your back to these two particular, I guess, main characters, as well as all the people that are involved along with it. Because there are a multitude of people here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. We also see a multitude here on the Seven of Wands, right? You're this one person with one wand fighting off six other wands, pushing them back. So brace yourself. Um, it almost feels like I'm not sure if you have true friends around you. The beauty of this card with friendship is that maybe you'll find solace and help and support in your friends and not within the circle of this particular institution or establishment corporation, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to draw one card on the Five of Swords. I want to see what the conflict is about. It feels like you're being singled out, of course, um, because you're, it feels like you're facing a a mob. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So it's like, it's a down for you in, in terms of a down, a reversal, a change that you feel, unfortunately, is unfavorable to you. So the particular shift here, um, although things are moving forward, it's moving things and putting you in a position where you don't feel on top of things. You're certainly not in control of anything, I can tell you that. <laughs> Who really is, but you know what I mean. The other thing is, I'm sensing that whatever this shift is, you're ending up in a different direction than you thought you would. So that's pretty much what is going on. It almost feels like this is where these people, this chaos, this tension is pushing you towards. Like they're the ones uh, trying to decide 
which direction you'll go into, if you know what I mean. And you're not in favor of that. So what's interesting is that you could be deciding to move in a even other, like another direction. So having people trying to push you in one direction and you are choosing a different one, ultimately to move into a different direction. It's a mix. It's a mix of how much you're able to control where you're going by walking away. Are you deciding of which direction you're taking, really? And or you're being pushed in a direction that you didn't anticipate. I don't know how far along you, you can go uh, on that path. Like, are you willing to walk down that path? Or are you preferring to choose how to go about things? I'm debating whether I'm going to pull another card. I want to see where you walk towards. <laughs> You're walking towards uh, family members, which was the, or at least friends, uh, long-time friends, right? You're going towards people that care for you, that know you well, um, that will take care of you, that care for you, already people in places that are familiar and uh, with whom you're really comfortable and with whom you feel you truly have real affinities which is not the case with this uh, gang here <laughs> definitely not okay let me move on to a different message for you. We're going to look at the Creativity Oracle. Let's see what the message is for you. Introspection. Introspection is often necessary to deepen our awareness of the unity and divinity of life. But you know, you, the card of walking away on the Eight of Cups is someone with um, a cape and a stick, a walking stick. It does remind us of the Hermit. We also have a character here on this card. It feels like you're at least going inward, right? Obviously, with the word intros introspection. I'm feeling uh, you've had a lot of time to reflect, actually, already. Rest <laughs> and rejuvenate. Mm. you're really needing some time off away from the chaos and the tensions you could be going in nature of course taking walks in the forest or in a park anywhere outside you see, there's the card came out on the reverse, the disruption card. And then you have victory and success. So either you've gone through disruption or you're avoiding disruption. 
any further disruption in your life by retreating, introspecting, removing yourself, healing yourself, taking time for yourself. I think it's a, a smart choice. I think it brings you to a good place. This victory and success feels um, a little more subtle than just like a big victory, right? And it feels more subtle. As in, uh, you know that this was a, or maybe resting and rejuvenating, taking some time off is for you a success, is basically saying it's the good thing, it's the right thing to do for yourself. Power. It could be your power, of course. Um, being in your power when you're, I want to say, more calm. When you avoid anything that's disruptive to you, no matter if it's, um, you know, an actual disruption in your life, on your schedule, on your activities, or if it's related to your, uh, an emotional or psychological state. But you're much more balanced, you're embracing, you know, the dark and the light in you. Uh, you're also being revealed your own power. Or you could be dealing with someone very powerful as well. I think that this is a beautiful recovery. <laughs> I do think you're choosing well to reflect and truly remove yourself The way to go <laughs> and even the saying it's the way to go right um, so you're going somewhere I think you're really taking taking some time off you need to balance yourself out find your peace find your power feels extremely positive with uh, victory and success. Balance. <laughs> so you will attain balance, but it'll come uh, in time though. I am sensing that it's not a given and it's not automatic. You do need to reflect some more. And you really need to take that time out. So don't feed the beast, uh, feed, uh, you know, don't feed the wolf, feed the lamb instead or <laughs> the more positive side of yourself. Avoid any form of chaos, internal, internal turmoil, as well as outside. It reminds me of the first message because in the first message you were walking away in protection and it's the same idea twice. Let's get some guidance. <laughs> Birthing a new age, 
birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So there's a new start for you. I think the important thing is to be creative. It's a great remedy because um, let's say you're having negative thoughts. What you When you put yourself in a creative, doing something creative, um, first of all, you're generating something positive and you're absolutely in the moment. So there's no room for any dwelling and ruminating and thinking about the negative things. So it's a great antidote. <laughs> so hopefully this serves you. I hope you found something that resonated in the message for you, even if it was a little bit um, unsettling to know that you would have to take this time for yourself and make a very important decision about your own well-being and deciding to walk away from a situation, a particular institution or instance. So good luck with that. Enjoy yourself today. Please like the video, share and subscribe. I'll see you soon.